Yes, sir. We've got Ding and Idom back to the plate. So we get them run back to the Manon. And of course, things Ryu stepping up to see who is going to be advancing. Yeah, and uh, you know, although Idom is the probably the favorite right now just because of his, his acumen and his experience, but he does have a, like historically like some problems with Shoto's, especially good Shoto play. So, you know, Ding was looking good. Plus, we gotta talk about Ryu. Ryu a force to be reckoned with, I feel like, coming into this tournament. Yeah, he, he's a he's a character that like I feel like a lot of people are not really sure where to place him on the tier list right now. Um he definitely got like a good two pages of buffs, but um, you know, it's it's still like it, I feel like he's in a position where he's very strong, and the only reason you're not seeing too much of him is like, why play Ryu when you can play Akuma, kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But at the same time, that leaves you in a position where you're not really familiar with what to fight. And plus, it's Ryu, a character who is historically a very expressive Shoto. Maybe not as good as other Shotos, depending on which game that you're playing. But still, now you give him really strong tools in the hands of an already strong player? That's a lot to worry about. All right, and good pressure there from Idom right now. Working on a big lead is Idom. Oh, and I love the side switch that Ding went for right there. Get out of the sky. Okay, oh, interesting. Went for the drive versus low forward. Not something you see very often. And the jump in, too, to continue the damage. You're just going to stay in the corner. You're going to die in the corner, too. Yep, and just as I said that, the, the Ryu, historically, Shotos do give Idom some problems. Nice pressure right there with the walk-up staggered jabs. And then kind of running away with it right now. Yeah, he's got a hell of a lot of momentum coming into this game one. Or this game two, rather, having taken the game one so oh, wow, he got hit, which caused the command throw setup from Idom to, to fail. Okay. Oh, Find talking the first about command it. throw. Oh. Could have been whiff punish. Got to be careful with that. If there's one thing that does seem to be a kink in the armor for Ding, we haven't seen it happen yet, but he gets a little happy with the wake-up uh, Shoryukens. So that could come back to haunt him, but, you know, if he uses it sparingly, it could definitely uh, work out in his favor as well. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those, like, all-time reactions. It's something that you see and be honest, on your opponent's punish. Manon can get so much off of it. But then it gets an eye on his head, like, surely he won't go for it again! Yeah. Oh, nice right there. He's been really on point with the, with the convergence from that. Oh, okay. Yo, talk about convergence! Yeah, going straight for the level three. It won't get the burnout, but it might just be a, a slight sliver over a left. One more normal will do it. All right. Yep, there it is. And it's huge damage. Item goes ahead. Here's the round. I'm burning the meter right there. <laughs> a little bit of a trolling right there. <laughs> okay, interesting. All right, so the 1-1 one, one apiece. All right, one up. All right, nice punish there from Ding. I yeah. can't get over how good Ding has been trying to stay right on top of Idom, but still within a range where he can threaten with Hadouken. Yeah, and, and I like that Ding uses the... the OD Hashogeki from close like that because he just wants to maintain the, pro the plus frames to jack up the drive bar. All right, and Idom has to make a big comeback right now, but just like that, Ding noticed. Not in this round. Walked up and just threw him. Kept it nice and simple. Oh, it is a little bit awkward to whiff punish that. All right, nice OD fireball right there. Okay, gets the corner carry from that. Wow, actually pick up. All right, I, I'm sure Ida must be happy that doesn't drop like how we used to no more. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when things work, you know? <laughs> I was going to say, but I've got some buffs too. <laughs> oh, no DP that time. Oh, but Ida got to be careful. We, we have seen Ding walk up with a low forward. He's not going to find it in this round. Ida with the slow blinks right there, thinking yeah. about it. Yo, he's so focused. <laughs> And you can't blame him either. You can't like go with the gas at all. You find your footing in a matchup like this. There's no reason for you to let go. Manon's got four medals. Yeah. Plenty of good spacing here. Very aware of the options that Ding is throwing out, but Ding still manages to find his in, regardless of that presence of fun. There it is. I called it the low forward. Hashogeki. Not going to kill, but one more good confirm will do it. 
And ultimately, it's the situation in the corner where we found so much success from Ding. The shimmy to five, the round win, and the game win puts him up two to one. And just like that, this is, this could be considered an upset right there. That is plus. Shout out to Paladin. He's the one that found that setup when, when, the, when season two first dropped. Oh, nice facing right there. Ding has been doing so good with any of these corner scuffles. Yep. Like every option that Idom is throwing out, Ding at least has the space to just take the hit, not let Idom get anything out of it. Or find a trade and just continue his pressure. Yep, and Idom trying to find the space right there. Not going to get big damage from this. Oh, ops to go for the... Oh, this is going to be punished. You can't be doing that. Yeah. Okay. All right, kept it nice and simple right there. Didn't have to spend any super for that. Good stuff to Idom. But Idom's back is still on the wall, you know. Ding is up a game. Oh, nice. I'd also like to note that Ding hasn't really been forced to adjust from his game plan. He's still keeping, like, a short Hadouken's length. He's still keeping at a space where if Idom whiffs, he gets blown up and brought right to the corner. Wow, waking up low forward, okay. He wants to, you know, deter the shimmying. But Idom not deterred. He wants to keep that pressure up. Oh, nice DP right there. One more confirm. We'll do it. Oh. He jumped. He jumped and he went big off of it, bringing us into final round. Wow. And right now, Ding in position, looking really sharp right there. About to take down a Capcom Cup champion. That's Ding came into this set and he said, Defender North needs a new champion. Yeah, he is playing with no fear right there. Up with a big lead right now, 50%. Idom's back to the wall. Oh, can't be whiffing that. Idom is good for a comeback. Ooh, oh, that's two connect that's in a row. Great. All right. Big damage thing cannot afford to lose out here. Oh, wow, there it is. The EXP are coming out. <gasps> Oh, it's looking I, like it's a game five. I, I, it's I, a game I, five kind of story. This here. is the big fight right here. Idom, no stranger to this position. Not someone that you can count out that easily. No, sir. All right, now Idom woke up, took first hit. Oh, there it is. Now getting away with that is round one. Really big. All right, then got to be careful. He's doing a lot of those donkey kicks right there. Oh, big punishing coming. Big right, punish. Goes for the medal. Wow, just like Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Punish yeah. Connor. Excellent reactions right there with the drive impact. Didn't have to spend any additional resources. And he's sitting on four medals. He's gonna Now the DPs are going to start coming out. Yeah, no. If Ding wants to walk away with this set, he's got his work cut out for him here. All right, now you see Ding slowing down. There it is, the command throw, level five. He held up that time. We're starting to see the cracks in the armor. I don't play it so confidently. All right, and now this is the, this is what Idom is familiar with. All right, loaded gun on both sides. Oh, there it is. Yep. You bring up the meter. Here it comes. It is going to be about even now. Maybe slight life lead for Ding. But in a good position to get the get the burnout. Yep. Now he's got to make the most. Oh, he's having Idom out. burn out. Oh! With the raw jump, Ding! Ding kicking himself. He said, why oh. did I throw that fireball? No. Why did I do it? <laughs> oh, man, he just jumped. We still see the fist bump. Excellent sportsmanship. As Ding walks down. That was one of those situations tonight. where, like, Ding was probably like, he, he's not going to jump. You know, he can't. He's not. Yeah. He, that's the only thing he can do. So obviously, he's not going to do it. <laughs> I was like, well, oh, I was watching those last moments in faded breaths. Just like the, the seamless interaction of how high pressure the spacing was from the moment the fireball came out and just all this perfect reaction. Yep. It's like he saw ahead. He knew exactly what to do. 
Yeah, and definitely this was a, a matchup where Ding definitely was equipped in terms of his strategy of how he, this could match could have went either way, oh, yeah. but it was it, it came down to a battle of grit. Idom has been in this position so many times before that even when his back's against the wall, he knows that he has an opportunity to make a comeback. So we never saw him make any kind of wild decisions in the air in the end. We didn't see him like playing getting any sloppy or anything like that. He knows how to stay sharp as you know, sharp as attack basically. And, and right. uh, he kept it together. Um you know, we saw a little bit of a slowdown from Ding. You know, Ding started off the set a little bit more aggressive, and then once Idom tied it up, he was like, "Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm human." Yeah, <laughs> you know, he's human. And so, you know, it's worth remembering that Idom took that win from behind. He was yes. on the back heel. Yeah, yeah. Ding was in perfect positioning to be able to take that, and he had an overwhelming force out the gate for the set. Like it was a very confident game one. Don't forget that. Yeah, but but. I don't make the adjustments. Yeah, but shout out to Ding. He did his thing. He had a really good set against O'Malley. Um, a set that uh, probably a lot of people thought would have went the other way, and he kept it together. He had a lot of shimmies there. He took Idom to the end as well, so he could, he could walk away from this tournament with his head held high. Um, definitely, you know, representing the Ryu, a character that is... People are conflicted about whether he's top five or not.